So in the latest version of Chia, there are some big changes that might just change the hardware you want to get for a Chia plotting build. Now, if you already have hardware, or maybe you've been following along with my Chia build video, you should still be good. But there are some slight changes that can increase your plotting speed or save you money by allowing you to buy less hardware. I'm also going to be answering the question of where do I get started? And I'm going to give you a few different options because everybody keeps asking me, even though I already did an entry level Chia build video, people are still confused and want to know some different options. So we're going to talk through those in this video and I'll give you links to the products that you'll want to get, which by the way, the link to my Amazon store will be below. So you can check that out and get links to all of the parts you need. This video is sponsored by Chia Explorer. This is a fantastic tool for everything Chia, and it can easily be used to estimate your Chia earnings based on your allocated storage space. This will be your go-to tool whenever you want to see the transactions of the Chia network. If you're anything like me, you want to know where you stand in comparison to the rest of the network. You can do that with Chia Explorer by taking a look at the total network capacity, top farmers, and more. Check it out using the link below. So I'm referencing this article on Chia Decentral. Shout out to them. They got some really organized stuff. And the big two changes you need to pay attention here is a change in the total amount of RAM needed per plot and a change in the temporary space needed per plot. What that means is if you have a drive such as this one, an inland premium two terabyte SSD, this is a pretty common drive used in Chia. And with two terabytes, it originally supported up to five plots in parallel. Well now, with the most recent change, this can support seven plots in parallel, which may allow you to get more plots per day if you have enough memory and the processor to allow it. But before we get too into this, this is Coin Breakthrough. I'm Caleb, and every day we post videos keeping up to date with cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, decentralized finance, and all the cool stuff going on in the world. So if that stuff excites you, be sure to subscribe and slap the notification bell. We post videos every day at 10 a.m., so... Hopefully I'll see you in all the upcoming videos. So I could see some budget builds with something like a Ryzen 3600 six core with an inland premium two terabyte SSD, and then just the appropriate amount of RAM, which how much RAM would you need? Well, this is for one plot. So that's also 3,553 megabytes, if that's what you're more familiar with. So 32 gigabytes of RAM would be plenty for six plots in parallel. In the Chia build video I did, I was intending on doing eight in parallel, and I decided to go with 64 gigabytes of RAM just to make sure I had plenty there. But now with the reduced requirements in RAM, I could do that exact same build with just 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that could actually save you money because the RAM is one of the most expensive parts of the computer. Minus the hard drives, of course, but every penny counts. Now, if you're going for something that's six in parallel, the two terabyte is actually going to give you extra space. So you could actually make it work with a 1.6 terabyte if you're going with an enterprise drive, such as the P4610, which is the drive I used in my Chia build video. So an alternative way of approaching this, instead of just reducing that RAM and keeping the Chia build exactly the same, you could keep the RAM at 64, get a slightly better processor and the same 1.6 terabyte drives, two of them would allow for 12 plots in parallel. So one small change, just upgrading the processor, could actually increase your parallel plots from 8 to 12. So a processor that could work for that would be the Ryzen 5900X. This and many other processors are, tend to just be out of stock or wildly overpriced. So you might need to shop around or get a previous version or something like that. So on this one, for example, new, the cheapest one on here is 896, which is significantly over the MSRP. So... That's ultimately up to you what you want to do. Another option might be the Ryzen 9 3950X. It's a little older, hence the three here instead of the five. However, it is 16 core. So it's actually more cores than the 5900X. There's also the 5950X, which is just insane. So <laughs> yeah. Within my Amazon store, I was putting together some example stuff. And the one from the YouTube video I created is this Chia Farmer Plotter All-in-One. And if you want to basically modify this to utilize all of the new updates, well, then the only thing you really need to change is the processor here, upgrading that to a 12 core or keeping everything here the same and dropping this RAM down to 32 gigabytes instead of 64. But in my opinion, 
you know, if you're already getting all this junk, you might as well just get a little bit of a better processor and increase your parallel plots by four. And as I mentioned in the build video, you might be able to find a lot of these parts other places for cheaper. So you might want to check out eBay, especially for the HBA card and possibly the SSDs. I bought my SSDs new, but I bought my HBA card used and that saved me a decent amount of money. In general, I prefer just to buy things new and save some time and effort, but everybody has different tastes. And you know, if, if you're trying to make money from this project, then you probably want to save money in some way. And also on here, I don't have the extra drive trays for the case. So that's the other thing you'd need to look at, which you can find the links to all that stuff in my Chia build video. So where does this build line up in comparison to these options here? Well, with the current setup and you just reduce the RAM, it would be this one. And it's probably a little overpriced. If you up the processor, it would instead be this one. And that's pretty close, I think, on price. So how does this change the game of Chia? Well, ultimately, I think the net space is going to increase faster. But if you know this stuff and you get on it early, then I think you have a competitive advantage getting the right proportions of all the hardware. I still think Obviously, the most expensive part of this is the storage for the plots. People are asking me, hey, what drives do you recommend? Well, my approach with this is less drives, the better for me. The more storage per drive, that's going to save me time and energy and possibly money in the long run. So I would recommend going with the 18 terabyte drives from Seagate. Again, you can find that in my build Amazon store. But we'll get into all those details in the upcoming video. So if this video is helpful, let me know because I want to know if you want to see these updates or if you prefer me just to talk about new networks and builds and all of that stuff. So please drop a comment, your thoughts, and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's video at 10 a.m. Eastern time. See you in the next one.